I'm Angel with Shannon Fabrics and FleeceFun.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful envelope fur pillow. It's fast, easy, and I'm going to show you how to work with fur. For this project you will need the following. You will need 5 eighths to a yard and a half of fur, a pillow form in the size that you desire, thread, scissors, sewing machine, lint roller, and plastic bag or tissue paper, and that's optional, depending on the thickness of your fur. All right, now that you have all those items, it's time to get started. You're gonna cut out um, pieces for your pillow. And here's how I like to do a um, pillow, an envelope pillow. I like to do one solid front side, so I'm gonna do a 20 inch pillow. So to make up for a half inch seam allowance, I'm going to make it 21 inches by 21 inches for that square. And then I'm going to cut out two back pieces for the envelope part. And I actually like them to go two thirds across each way. It seems to give it a nice tight envelope feel. For the back, you'll need two pieces that are 18 inches by 21 inches. Now, when you're working with fur, there's a couple of different things you need to be aware of. First of all, you need to be aware of the nap of the fur. When you pet your faux fur, there is a way where it goes smooth and then there's another direction where it goes rough against your hand. When you're working on anything, you want to make sure that the nap is all laying in the right direction. It's all laying in the same direction. So whether you're cutting out pattern pieces or just a simple pillow, you're going to want to pet your fur to make sure that when your pieces come together, all the fur goes in the same direction. On the back pieces, turn under the outer edge or the exposed edge of each of the back pieces an inch and a half to two inches pin. Then sew down using a zigzag stitch. If the fur has a high pile, use tissue paper or a plastic bag between the foot and the fur. That way, none of the fur will get caught up on the foot as you're sewing. Once you're finished sewing that edge, just simply tear away the tissue paper or a plastic bag. All right, we're almost there, next step. Now it's time to stack the pillow and sew it all together. Take each of the back pieces, lay one face up, and then the other face up so they're overlapping, and then take the pillow front and place it face down so it's all together. Pin in place. Now sew all the way around using a straight stitch with a half inch seam allowance. Trim your threads, turn right side out, insert your pillow form, and you're finished. And that's it. You have this beautiful pillow made out of that yummy Sadie faux fur. It is just, oh, I can't tell you how good it feels. It's just rich and thick and mm, yummy. If you like this tutorial, there are several others on Shannon Fabrics' YouTube channel that I know you'll enjoy. Please be sure to check them out and subscribe. Also, you can check out Shannon Fabrics' um, blog. They have guest posters, such as myself, offering tips and tutorials using their fabric. Have a great day. Shannon Fabrics, making the world a softer place.